back again to my YouTube channel and for today's video we are talking about uh, the online application of CRBA because we applied through mail so it's been six weeks yeah. we don't receive any update about our application so I joined uh, one of the group on Facebook or uh, CRBA group so I found out that there's an online application so we tried and luckily guys uh, we have an appointment uh, he leave August 19 and our appointment is August 18, <laughs> August 18. yeah so we were, we were blessed uh, that she joined this group and found this out um, at first we thought it was fake but then we research it and it's a brand new process i think it's just started in may um and in that group they're basically telling everyone that joined that group um a lot of them were complaining about how long it was taking for the mail-in and every person that she heard from said do the online application it's a much faster process we were a little skeptical we thought you know what let's do it yeah we did and we were blessed yeah. literally four days four business days later yeah, we don't know if it's true or not, but they said uh, it's just like their prayer right now is more online. Yeah. So, so anyone who's filling out a CRBA, we cannot stress enough. Don't even mail it in. Just do the online. And this video here is basically going to show you um, some of the uh, process of the CRBA online. We didn't screenshot every part of it, but we did screenshot a decent amount. Um, and we're just going to kind of show you step by step um, what what we did screenshot. But we can say it is a pretty straightforward process, and we'll tell you the things that we uploaded. Um, now, as you know, if you followed any of our videos, we already showed a lot of the stuff that we submitted in our mail-in application. We literally used most of that stuff and just kind of updated certain things like photos and stuff like that um, to the online process. But I will say, we did not upload the same amount. It was less. Yes. Um, they don't ask you to upload as much. But we're going to kind of hopefully help you get through it. Um, we didn't really know exactly how. Yeah, so before you, uh, what do you call that? Uh, filled out application online, yeah. you must to create an account in travel.go, no? Yeah, so yeah. that's the first thing you got to do. So when you get to this point, you got to go and you got to create yourself an actual account. Um, once you create this account, what's it called again? Um, I guess the, my travel that goes. Yes. Yep. Um, so once you create your account, which is simple, it doesn't cost any money to create the account, you automatically get a link that will take you right to this process of the online application. Um, so once again, the first thing you do is that, and then there's two steps. There is the CRBA application, which is the online thing that we're going to discuss. Yeah. And then once you fill out everything, you submit what they need you to submit, it asks you to pay. You then have to keep a proof of that because you got to send that in. Um, once you send that in, they will contact you. It says within five business days, and we were a little worried, but it really was. Four business days later, we got our appointment. And like we said, yeah. luckily... It's the day before I leave, so, <laughs> but hey, it's better than me not being here. Yep, that's right. So, all right, so we're going to kind of walk you through. So, um, yeah, first, on the first page, it's basically going to show you, um, it, or ask you on the CRBA application progress, it's going to, the first thing is going to be your child information. Um, where was your child born? Um, what city, state, province, things like that. And, of course, this is for anyone who had a child born in the Philippines. Yeah. And they ask you the... Live birth. The, yeah. the child's birth certificate is what we, Americans, we just know it as a birth certificate, but they call it a live birth mm -hmm. um, here. So we upload our daughter birth certificate? Yeah. Um, so once again, they ask you that. Um, it says your parent one's identity. Um, you know, was the parent a U.S. citizen at the time of the birth? So obviously I was, so I would click yes for that one. Um, and then it asks you for details um, what, about that parent. So it's asking you details about where you were born, 
what city, state, etc. It's going to ask you for your address. But once again, when you go to these pages, it's pretty self-explanatory when you're putting in your information. And then it goes to the parent two information, um, and that's where she would put her information. And once again, the very first question they ask you is, is the parent a U.S. citizen when the child was born? And in this case, no. four was not. Um, but it, it's, it doesn't matter because then it just asks you information about her. For the parent information, we upload our live birth certificate. Next is marriage information. Here, there's a question, are the biological parents currently married to each other? So, the, our answer here is no, we are not married yet, and we are still waiting for our K-1 visa. Here, we upload our photos together, chat and call logs, Facebook and YouTube vlogs, just to prove our relationship because we are not married. Then, in marriage information, there's a question about other marriages. Uh, if the both parents are even been married to anyone else. So, our answer here is no. Uh, Dennis and I are single. All right. Next would be, um, it says, residence history. Um, and this is where you're basically showing proof that you were an actual resident in, the, in America for me. And it's weird because like you could still include some of the same things like my passport shows that I have a resident in America my yeah, driver's license course. shows I have that but some of the other things that they say you could do and I chose to was your w-2 form yeah. so your tax returns um, yeah. I did four years somebody said if yeah, you got right. five do five I wasn't prepared for that because I brought four years because that's what it said in the mail-in application so I had four years proof um, but somebody said to bring five. I don't have five. I mean, I work, but I just don't have it. Um, so we put four. But other things that said that you could include um, was it your your electric bill was uh, one of them. School records. School records. Yep. Uh, work history, work yeah. records like your current job. Um, I think I put in that also. Your passport. Passport again shows it. Yeah, I guess your old and current passport because it's yeah. old passport. It shows also showing proof of yeah, residence in the United States. Yeah, it's been ten years. So in your current passport, also ten years. Yeah. So there's different things that you could add, but it, it does kind of tell you some of the things. But um, they were the ones that we chose to add in there. All right. Uh, let's see. Next. Oh, that was the physical presence, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so. If, it also asks you for your time abroad. That's where, do we add that? I don't remember. I can say time abroad we add. Oh, this is the part where we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, the, it, it, we, we'll pop this screen up as we're doing this, but when you read that, it's kind of confusing what it's actually, because it's, so when it reads this, it says, has spent abroad prior to child's birth. This includes serving in or as a department of, someone serving in the government agency of military. I'm not military. So we're like, well, how do you put something in there? And then it, it, it basically says also, you'll need to pr um, provide proof of time abroad, which includes documentation from international organizations, US government orders, like US military. I'm none of that. So we didn't know how to yeah. upload any of that. So I guess we, yeah, we though? skipped this because it didn't make sense for me because I'm not military. And everything about that said military. Um, but on your mail-in one, we included my, my uh, travel history here in the Philippines. But it doesn't say to do that. All right, and then it goes basically into your contact information again. Um, this is where you put your mailing information in there, your uh, mailing address that is, your phone number. Um, it's, once again, it's very forward. Um, it asks you for both of our information. Yeah. Now we chose to put our address here in the Philippines as opposed for us, for them contacting us. Um, we put that in there um, for them contacting when, when everything gets approved. Yeah. Um, and then it asks you to do, re review your application. After reviewing the application, next is pay the CRBA fee. For our daughter, we pay $100.
Yeah. All right. Well, that's pretty much what the video was, right? Yes, so guys. And we have our appointment coming up literally the day before I leave. Um, and we plan on giving an update on how everything goes there. Uh, real quick, one of the things that we had an issue with was her name. No, it's a gender. Yeah, it was weird. Like, there were, it, it kept changing something on us. And it, well, no, it wasn't. Remember, it asked, is our name the same on a live birth certificate or something? Or gender? Yeah. Whatever it was. And every time we would click what it says it is and we would save it, it would go back and change it. I hope you don't run into that if or issue. But on ours, it kept doing that. And we eventually was like, whatever. This is just the information to get the application accepted. Or, I'm mean, sorry, to get your appointment. You basically prove everything. Now, when you go to your appointment, you need to bring original copies of stuff. Um, what is it? Your passport, your driver's license, all that, like birth, like birth certificate, yeah. all that. You need to bring actual physical stuff like that. Um, I did not bring W-2s because on the mail-ins, it said copies. So I did not bring that. All I have is copies. But everything else, I have originals for. Yes. So, so and we're actually going to take our packet. So we're literally going to take our packet for our mail-in. And we're just going to bring that with us along with all our original copies. And remember, you can also do the passport at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get that all settled, hopefully, and we're going to do a follow-up video. Yeah, so thank you for watching, guys, and I hope... Hope this helps. Yes, <laughs> and honestly, we don't know or we don't have any idea in how to fill out yeah. this application online. So... If this video, if we miss out something, so yeah, we apologize. Yeah, we miss apologize, something. guys, because uh, it's yeah, new. it's new. So we just only share uh, what we did in this online application. And we pray and hope that what we did was good. Yeah. And uh, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Thank and you, everyone. Good luck to those who yes. are also applying for CRBA. For your kids and it's not easy but uh just uh, work through it it was yeah. pretty mm -hmm. hopefully this helps but it was straightforward yes so thank you and god bless please give likes yeah <laughs> and share this video <laughs> bye, bye, -bye.